In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to learn what is a compiler. We will also learn the compiling process of a C program. Let's start with learning a compiler. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. As we know, computer's language of understanding is binary. If it is given instructions in a high-level language, it won't understand. To make a computer understand, this high-level language has to be converted into machine language. This process of converting high-level language into low-level language, which is often binary or assembly language, is termed as compiling. The set of programs that do the translations are grouped together in a term known as compiler. Thus, a compiler is basically a collection of system programs that transform source code written in a high-level programming language into machine language. The reason for compiling a program is to get an executable file through which the program can be executed and output can be viewed. When running, the compiler first passes all of the language statements syntactically, one after the other, and then, in one or more successive stages, or passes, builds the output code, which is the object code. The object code is usually a machine code, also called a machine language which can be understood directly by a specific type of CPU. Let's learn the compiling process of a simple C program. We have divided the entire process into steps. The C program is written in an editor and saved with .c extension. This is called as source code example first .c. Further changes to the source code can be made by opening the editor and modifying it. Once the program is written in high-level language and saved, it needs to be compiled into machine language in order to execute it. The compilation process has to deal with various files and it also produces a number of files. There are four important files which we need to understand. Firstly, source file is a file which contains the actual program and is saved with .c extension. Next is a header file. They contain function files and other macro declarations which must be included in the program. They have .h extension. Next is an object file. They are produced as an output of the compiler. They are binary files which are not executable by themselves. They have .obj or .o extension. Lastly, binary executable files are produced as the output of the linker. The linker links a number of .obj files with the library files to produce a binary file which is directly executable. These files have .exe as an extension. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's learn the compiling process in stages. First stage is the preprocessing stage. The preprocessor accepts the source code as input and removes the comments and interprets a special preprocessor directive denoted by hash. Next stage is compiling stage. The source code received from the preprocessor is passed for finding the syntactical errors. If there are syntactical errors, the source code needs to be edited and modified or else it is translated to object code. Next stage is linking stage. If the source file refers to any library files, then they are needed to be linked with the object code so that an executable file is created. This is done in the linking stage. Last stage is the execution stage. Once the program is successfully linked, the program is ready to be executed. An appropriate input, if any, is provided through the terminal which is processed by the program and output is available on the terminal screen. Let's have a quick review of what we studied in this lecture. We started with compiler which is a system software used to translate high level programs into machine code. Next, we learned that this process of translating is termed as compiling. We also learned the four types of files. Source file is the code file where the actual program is stored. Header file is one which is declared at the beginning of the program and has all the functions to be included in the program. Object file has the object code of the program. 
while executable file is the one which we use for running the program. Lastly, we learn the compiling process. The various stages of compilation are Pre-processing stage, where the preprocessor removes the comments from the source code. Compilation stage is where the actual translation takes place and we get .obj file in output. Next stage is linking stage, where the header files are linked to the source code and we get .exe file as output. Last stage is execution stage, where the program is actually executed and the output is viewed.